Dave Asprey tries to talk science, but just talk shit. What's up guys? It's Friday, so you know what time it is. It's time for Dave Asprey's favorite show. That's right, What the Fitness, we're back. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment Oh, the algorithm. Let's see what he's talking about. Just love Fridays and debunking always puts me in such a good mood. So this is from Dave's Twitter. Thank you guys for your submissions. A new randomized controlled trial from medicine and science in sports and exercise found that mixing five grams of collagen with 25 grams of whey protein post-workout increases muscle protein synthesis by 33% when compared to whey alone. Dave, we have been down this road before. You were on a podcast and you cited a PubMed ID probably thinking that nobody would actually look it up. That was a mistake because I went and looked it up and it turns out it showed the opposite of what you claimed it did. Also, it was in rats. You failed to disclose that, but hey, it still showed the opposite of what you said. That was pretty funny to me. And this week is also funny because I looked up this study. It did not show what you said it showed. So you said whey plus collagen increased muscle protein synthesis by 33% compared to whey alone. But there was no group of just whey alone. It was a non-caloric placebo versus a whey plus collagen blend. Why would Dave not disclose that? Now, Dr. Holmes, well, why, why would he say that it was 33% elevated versus whey alone? Huh, elementary, my dear Watson. He can read the actual study. <laughs> Yeah, so they had 25 grams of whey protein, 5 grams of collagen, and they saw an increased muscle protein synthesis compared to a non-caloric placebo. No f***ing We have, I don't know, thousands of studies demonstrating that 25 grams of whey by itself will increase muscle protein synthesis. We also have numerous studies showing that 15 to 20 to 25 grams of collagen protein does not increase muscle protein synthesis. We also have two very well done studies out of Luke Van Loon's lab, one of the premier protein metabolism labs in the world, demonstrating that connective tissue synthesis of whey protein supplement versus collagen supplement, no difference between the two. How many times are we going to play this game? Just do what you usually do, which is make claims and don't talk about a study. So you don't have scientific evidence to back up what you say, when you try to cite scientific evidence, it's actually the opposite of what you say. You don't really make very good points. And when it gets down to brass tacks, you're basically like, trust me, bro, I'm a biohacker. Okay, so you're falling back to anecdote. Which of your anecdotes, Dave, is better than mine? Please, if we are going to compare anecdotes, mine is better across the board. I don't like doing a d measuring contest with anecdotes because Hey, there's somebody out there with a better anecdote than me that did something different. But the difference is, Dave, I provide empirical evidence where I don't misrepresent the studies that I'm showing, and I actually provide direct citations. I don't say there was a study in this journal showing this, where it makes it very hard for people to go and actually find the study. And as you know, most people don't go and look this stuff up. We know from my website that less than 1% of people will click on a single citation in our articles. So you know that you can get away with this stuff because nobody's gonna actually look it up except me. <sighs> Smells like victory.